Your three minute question and answer period for the TD Entrepreneurship Challenge will now begin. How do you measure the long-term impact of your project on participants and or businesses? So mainly we measure impact through first, just the number of students that we put through our program and the number of students we impact and get educated through Youth Thrive. So the next three would be through our entrance and exit surveys. Um, from these surveys, we can see how much they learned and how much their confidence uh, increased with the skills of entrepreneurship. And then the next way for teachers uh, would be their weekly quizzes. So students take a weekly quiz on the content that we taught that week so the teachers can see how much they're learning and those sorts of things. And then lastly, it would just be the businesses that are created through You Thrive. So we see really great small businesses opening in Windsor and some of those are directly um, made through You Thrive. So those are the ways that we measure our impact. Additionally, to add on to that, um, our product's been running for over 10 years now. And we actually keep these data, keep this data and the total amount of students and the money that the students have generated from their existing businesses. And we track that. So we have a running total of how many participants we've had over the past 10 years and how much money the students have actually raised. Do you have plans to scale your project? Why and how? Yes, yeah, so when it comes to scaling our project, um, our primary way in doing that is really expanding our LMS system. Uh, we really want to do this uh, just to increase exposure and increase revenue streams. So some of the ways that we can do this is to start, um, we just started a partnership with an ed tech firm. This is going to improve the whole, the entire online uh, system, improve the online infrastructure and allow us to hold um, way more users than usual. Um, next from there, we really want to uh, expand um, in terms of geography and expand our demographics. So uh, our goal is to potentially work together with different inactive teams across the country, whether in Vancouver, Toronto, and from there, they would actually hold youth X competitions in their respective cities. And then hopefully we throw a, a big national youth X here in Windsor, which would be a great marketing tool for both the Oth for both the ODS School of Business and also Enactus Windsor. Um, lastly, we are going to be charging a service fee uh, for our LMS in the future. This is going to create a uh, consistent revenue stream that we're going to be able to pour back into the program to really help take our scaling to the next level. Which area of your project do you see as the most innovative and why? Our curriculum has definitely been our most innovative aspect um, of our program because that's where we've started from. Over the past 10 years, we've had our curriculum that's government aligned. So that means teachers are allowed to use this curriculum as a part of their marketing scheme. And what we've seen to make the teacher user, user experience better is we've implemented our learning management system just this year. So not only can students and teachers access the youth curriculum online, but we also offer the in-person models. So our curriculum has been developed, improved and scaled over the past 10 years, just so teachers and users can have a better experience overall. Your time has now expired. Thank you, University of Windsor.